Hello again. In this video, let's try to convert decimal to binary and vice versa. Say for example, we have the decimal number 120. What we need to do or the intuition behind the process is we just continually divide this by 2. All the while taking note of what remainder it spits out. And then after we take note of all remainders, we just print them in reverse order and that should give us the binary representation. So let's do that. If we are given 120, let's put it inside the box. I divide it by 2. It gives me 60, remainder 0. 60 now becomes my new thing to divide. I continue dividing it until we reach 0. 60 divided by 2 is equal to 30, remainder 0. 30 divided by 2 is 15, remainder 0. If we have 15 here and we divide it by 2, then that gives us a 7.5 or a 7, remainder 1. 7 becomes our new number to divide. Divided by 2, this would give us 3, remainder 1. 3 divided by 2 would give us how many 2s inside the 3? 1, but there's a remainder 1. And finally, 1 divided by 2 would give us 0 remainder 1. Once we are able to reach 0, that's the time that we stop and we just read these numbers in the reverse order that we got them. So we have the binary representation 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 0, 0, 0. This is now the binary representation of 120. The reverse is also true. So for example, if we now have a binary, let's just take this one and we want to convert it back to its decimal representation. What we can do is, let me just erase this. What we can do is um, write down the numbers and uh, we can enumerate from right to left the powers of 2. So th this is 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to the 3rd power, 2 raised to the 4th power, 5th power, 6th power. And of course, we, we would need to add them up. But since these are zeros, then we can already... Um, we can leave them be. We don't need them anymore. And we can just add these ones. We can just add the bits whose, that are activated, the bits that are turned on, those that are 1. So this should be 8, 16, 32, and 64. We add these values together and we get a 120. Um, for adding a larger binary numbers that's where programming could could be of use and um i think i think that's it for now so we have demonstrated how to convert decimal to binary and binary to decimal in this video in the next video we will be showing you how you could add and subtract binary numbers thank you and see you in the next video